Guys, how you doing? It's Drew here today, and yeah, I haven't done a video in a long time. I, you know, I don't like to be a negative person or think negatively, guys, but just this weekend has been probably one of the worst weekends in my life um, for just things happening, and I basically went way off the road. I uh, So there, I don't know if you guys can see the hair. I'm going to try and get it in the but you can see there. So, um, yeah, guys, that, that's one thing that happened to me. And then, uh, yeah, so I, I basically swerved to miss an animal that was running across the road. You can see there, that was in like the countryside, right? And there was a golly there and it basically got air. <laughs> like I caught a bunch of air off the road and then boom, hit the ditch there. So now it's in the shop. Um, the, uh, guy contacted me and he's like, it doesn't look good for your car. Uh, so yeah, I had to go through insurance yesterday and, and if you guys know insurance is, um, uh, they're never on your side about stuff, right? So it could end pretty bad for my car basically. So I'm, I'm kind of a little upset about that. And then two days before that, I'll go to our group here. Cause I actually post about this in our group. I didn't say anything about my Corvette and group guys, just because just a crazy weekend, crazy, crazy for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's the last thing I posted about it. Um, yeah. So here. So I, I came outside. This is my wife's little Tesla. It's a Model 3 um, that she got. She just, this is a 2022. So she just got this as well, guys. Um, like, I think about a year and a half ago she got it. And uh, she was parked, or I was driving the car, and I'd parked it at Canadian Tire, which is like a kind of a home home store in Canada here. And some lady backed into it like she was backing out of a parking spot beside the car and she hit it. So, so that, and I was the one driving it. Me and my son were in the store and we came out and we're like, oh my God. And she's, the lady was there luckily. And, and she was like, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. I hit your car. But anyways, it was my wife's car. And that happened two days before. Like that happened on October 28th, guys. It's the 31st now. Um, the Corvette was yesterday. So basically two days before someone hit my wife's car, right? So just really weird, weird things. And I'm, you know, I don't want to think like, oh, I'm a, a superstitious person, but you know, I've heard a lot that, that bad things or good things happen in threes. Like if something bad is happening in your life, guys, it happens in threes, like all around the same time. And this is two basically car accidents. Like this will have to go get fixed. It looks horrible. Right. And then my car, the mechanic phoned me today the a body shop guy and he he's like they're really bad like it's 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 way worse than than what uh uh you know than what I was expecting it would be right so yeah so not not in a very good mood today guys but I thought uh you know I, I haven't done a video in about five days just because you know I guys I don't want to make content when I don't feel good I just don't think it's good to uh uh, go out there and share my opinion on something or, or, you know, like, I don't want to pretend something, right? Like, I don't want to pretend, oh, I'm in good spirits or my mind is, is proper today kind of thing like that. It's, it's definitely not guys like, you know, in one pretty bad accident yesterday. Um, luckily I'm totally fine. I didn't hurt anything guys. I basically just have a bruise across my chest from my seatbelt. Um, but I'm totally fine. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to tell you that why I haven't made a video in five days is just like, what's going on, right? Like someone hits my wife's car. Um, you know, that sucks. It's not the end of the world, but it sucks. And then, uh, my car, like pretty bad accident. I showed you a picture there where it's like, uh, you know, went basically down in a golly and then the thing's low to the ground. So it's like a toboggan if it's on like grass or something. And then just went up kind of up a hill. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of like, uh, nervous as well, because in the back of my head, I'm like, something else is going to happen. Like something, something is going to happen, but I'm not a superstitious person, but that's just my thoughts is like things happen. If, if, uh, bad things or good things happen, like a bunch of it will happen at once kind of thing. So I'm kind of, uh, Halloween's tonight as well <laughs> in Canada. We've got Halloween tonight. Uh, why I'm making a video today is we're going to do some nice, well, I guess this is good stuff up here. We've probably got like over $2,000 um, of withdrawals we're, we're going to do today. And then we'll add that to the money in S wallet there. And then once it starts to stack up, I send it to my wife's account to hold it there. So then I'm not showing like, 
you know, in her account right now, guys, there's like 70 something thousand SWCTs. And then I don't have to show that, right. It doesn't give the bad people out there, um, you know, the opportunity to be like, I want to try and get into his S wallet or whatever kind of thing. Right. Okay. So, uh, also some good news here, guys, we hit the, uh, $450,000 mark in commissions and bonuses. So that's like basically three years there. This probably would have, if the audit didn't happen, guys, this probably would have been over 500,000 now, um, uh, which would have been nice, but you know, stuff happens, right? Okay. So we're going to shoot on over here. We'll do a withdrawal. And, um, also in this video, I've got, uh, not new information, but, uh, they uploaded the here. We'll show you this right now. So they uploaded the, I put it in this group here. So the Vadim webinar guys, that was last week, I think it was last Wednesday or something. They uploaded the English translation of it. Okay. Which is actually pretty good. Cause I noticed most of the time when there's English translation there, like you just basically, he's speaking in Russian and then there's English text. Um, normally it's like the Google translation, which is actually horrible. And one word is off and you don't understand what the heck, uh, what the heck is going on. This one is actually pretty good guys. Like I, I just, uh, watched the whole thing and, um, you know, of course I didn't learn anything new because I had the full transcript up here of exactly what he said, like all this. Right. But, um, yeah, I watched it again. And, uh, what I did was I took screenshots of like what I thought was important points. Okay. So, uh, S broke, uh, S broker talk. Okay. So about S broker here, um, I'm not even gonna talk about what is S broker, but guys, it's going to be probably one of the best things for S group. And it's the solution so that this kind of audit that we're going through right now, where we cannot withdraw our SWCT because the broker has made the decision to freeze everything. And it's not the auditors, it's the broker guys. Uh, S broker is going to be our solution for that. Um, audit talk. Okay. So audit talk. So just talking about the audit guys. Um, so the, the time there you can see, so if you want to listen to the audit talk guys, you'd go to the video and then listen from six, like six thirty, basically six minutes, 30 seconds. So sorry, I didn't go over this. This one's uh, four minutes and 45 seconds there. Okay. And broker, uh, unblocking talk. Okay. So this is something here that I didn't bother talking about that much because Five days ago, guys, or uh, on the 25th, so it would have been six days ago when this webinar was going on, uh, like we posted about it. So everybody knew about it that was reading, but I never talked about it like publicly in video or anything like that because I was waiting to see if they put out more news about it because the S broker and of course news about the audit or whatever, and this was the biggest news in that webinar, I thought, right? like especially the S broker talk, but this here guys unblocking. So the potential unblocking of, uh, funds with the broker. Okay. So our S Forex account. So I don't know that much information about it because I know if you were to watch the webinar and just read what he's saying, like read it in English, of course, like what I've done here, you'd know exactly what I know because there's been no more news put out about this guys. Um, if there's no more news, in say two weeks from now, put out about it. I'm going to go in the 15% group and I'll ask in there and I'll see like, does anybody know any more news about this potential unblocking, which means like potential unblocking of SWCT, which is USDT in the broker account. So what he was basically saying here is if they don't come to a conclusion with this audit on time, whatever that is guys, because he said, uh, uh, that we're like over 50% now the work's been done and this final work, uh, final work that needs to be done guys is going to happen much faster than the, the, uh, first over 50%, if that makes sense to you. Um, like it'll happen much faster. So for instance, okay, don't take my word on like any dates or anything like that, but if they did just over 50%, the auditors, of course, if they did just over 50% and it took them like four months to do it, right? July till whenever he did this, which was um, like five, six days ago, right? Uh, that was about four months or so, almost four months. 
and that was just over 50%. So say like 60% or something, right? Um, so the remainder of it, he said, is going to happen much faster. So that much faster could still mean like two months or who knows, maybe even three months or something like that. And could take us, like if anyone messages me and says, Drew, just, I know you don't know, but give me your opinion on when you think it's going to be over, guys. Ever since it passed the, the three-month mark, which that was their projection at the start, I've just been telling people, well, I don't know, but if I was to take a wild guess, I would say it's going to be into 2024. That's why I've been telling people, guys, that ask me, but once again, that's just my opinion. I don't think it's going to be like the end of even next month. I think it'll be more like like New Year's or something, right? That just m makes more sense to me, right? Um, if it's already taken this long, then why wouldn't it take um, almost twice as long kind of thing, right? And we know that uh, right now it's over 50% done, but uh, the rest will happen faster. So that would kind of line up, right? And and here's the other thing is that, you know, if you go and you do your research on forensic audits and the type of audit that uh, S Group is going through and stuff is not the type of forensic audit where they seize the domain of the website, guys. And if you do your research and you know the country the audit's in, which I know, but I've decided to publicly not say it just because the owner of S Group's not saying it publicly. So why would I go out there and be like, it's the audit's going on in blah, blah, blah country kind of thing, right? So knowing all that information and then doing my research, you know, I found out that, yeah, 150 days basically is the maximum amount of time that they can do that kind of audit for. But once again, that's not company news. That's coming from me doing my research online, which is like Google news kind of thing, right? From looking at like uh, blogs or government websites and stuff like that, right? Okay. And I put the links to this in my uh, audit update videos that I did the three-part series, guys. I put links to that, like my information that I found online. So knowing that, that, okay, the maximum amount of time this could take that Google's telling me is 150 days and that's just for the audit, right? Like if they don't find anything, then those 150 days is like, that's when they stop their search. But here's the other thing is you think about things like this is that's just the audit as in searching. Okay. They still have to make documentation when the audit's done, they would make documentation so that they could send to S group, S group could send to the broker. The broker would then have to release the funds basically. Uh, they would send to the UK government. So the UK government would have proof of this and they could, I know, I know there's one UK web, uh, uh, website out there that says S group might not be safe because they have to say that because they don't have that proof that the company has been audited and all this stuff. So that would clear up that, right? I forget what it's called. It's like F I something or something like that. I F something or whatever it's called. I've, I've had a couple UK people send me the link to that. And then I have to explain to them, like, that's what they have to say. So, um, yeah, guys, just knowing that, yeah, it's Google that's, that's saying 150 days, which is websites and stuff like that. Um, knowing that that's just the time that an audit can happen, this type of audit where the government hasn't seized the domain name because it's the, uh, nothing's been found that's criminal basically. Um, I'll say something now that, you know, I'll give you guys an example of the type of, audit where they would seize a domain name. Okay. And this is not going to be nice for some people, but the deals with like pornography, like the worst kind of pornography, right? So if a website is dealing with that type of stuff, then the government right away, as soon as it's found, which is found like within days, basically of the start of an audit, the government will come in and seize the domain for that website so that no one can access it. Okay. So, and that's with really any kind of like super criminal behavior. Like if S group was to found, uh, be found supporting the war efforts in Ukraine, the government would come, the Ukraine government would come and seize the domain. Right. So, and Vadim even said in the webinar guys, like we haven't been found guilty for anything. All these claims that these bloggers say, these scam bloggers, you know, it's all false. It's all false. Nothing's been found. Right. And, and the proof really for yourself for that is the domain is still there. You can still go to S group and log in. You can still go to S wallet. You can still go to S trade, all this kind of stuff. So guys, it is true what he's saying here in, in these webinars. Like I don't have any doubt about it, but someone did message me the other day and said like, Drew, like how do you know the audit is true? Right. And the thing is, if you just take a little bit of time and look into things, like you can figure this stuff out on your, on your own guys, you don't need to just listen to 
like even myself. You don't need to listen to some leader. You don't need to listen to what the admin is telling you and then and have the thoughts in your back of your mind like, oh, what if he's just trying to scam me or whatever. If you just look at the little things, you know, the things that point to like, oh, this is the truth and stuff or that maybe this isn't the truth, um, that type of stuff, guys, you can figure it out on your own. It's not that hard to do, right? Google basically is telling us it's 150 days. The company has not put out that news and I don't think they ever will because here's the thing, is the company wants to prove that they're not supporting war efforts in Ukraine, guys. So even if it's, hey, uh, we, we're giving up this audit after 150 days because by law we're allowed to do that, right? S Group will probably say, no, finish. Okay, so there's things like that you have to think about, right? Is Imagine how bad it would look on S Group if they agreed to just finish, you know, finish the audit without even finishing it just because legally they can do that, right? If that's true that it's 150 days and they can legally just be like, okay, you know, the audit, auditing company can stop their search basically, right? That would actually look worse on S Group. So that's why I believe that if if that is true, guys, the 150-day thing, that's why I think that S Group would just continue the audit is because the whole purpose of this audit is to have proof that what these scam bloggers are saying is just total BS, right? It's false, right? Okay. So that's why I think that, you know, one of the reasons, that's why I think that it's, it's going to go maybe close to 2024 or around New Year's or something like that, or just after Christmas or whatever, guys, is because of that is because, and he kind of pointed at that in this webinar, guys, was that they're going to do all they can do to prove that the allocations against them, that they're supporting the Ukraine war effort is not true. Okay. So if nothing is found, and if it is true that they can only do it for 150 days, like the auditing company, then I would think S Group would be thinking this is more important to prove this, that it's not true, and we should continue the audit till everything is done. And 150 days, like right now, guys, it's like day 123 or something like that of this audit. If you go from July 1st as the first audit day, um, we're still, you know, a month away from 150 days, really, right? So, uh, yeah, if he's, uh, in this webinar, guys, he said it's over 50% now and the first 50% took four months, say, then that's what says to me, like, okay, yeah, it could be another two to three months, right. For them just to do the audit, if it's going to happen a little bit faster than it did at the start. And then on top of this, you got to think like this as well is when the audit's done, it means they've done their research, Right. When something is done and you need to have documentation saying that, you know, showing the work that you've put into this and put together, they have to create that documentation, right? So the audit being done is not the final thing, guys. They have to create the documentation to send to S Group saying they didn't find anything, everything was cool, all that kind of stuff. And then S Group has that documentation, that information to go and send to the broker for the broker to release the funds, right? And send to the... UK government. So the UK government, you know, has proof that the company was audited and all this kind of stuff. Right. Okay. So that's my thoughts on this guys. Like, you know, I see a lot of people out there saying things like, Oh, this audit's going to be over. Well, <laughs> if you look to see what other people are saying, they were saying this way back in the middle of September was that the audit's done basically. Right. And, and it's just, like, don't believe any, like even myself, don't even believe anything I'm saying until the company says it or until you hear it on a webinar, okay? So even this whole like 150 day, which I keep on saying, like, this is news information I found online. It's not news coming from the company, right? I provided links to the website, which is in Russian uh, language, guys, a Ukrainian website saying this stuff, right? So um, even that, guys, like I know that you watch these videos and there might be three, 400 views on a video that you're watching and you're like, oh, this must be like legit company news. Um, no, it's just me doing my research, me finding things, me sharing with you guys uh, publicly what I'm looking at, what I'm finding, all that, because I think that's important to do. Right, because for some people, guys, it's so hard. Like, if your first language isn't Russian, and also here's another big thing: is I have so many connections with leaders in S group, guys. I'm in the 15% group. Um, people message me constantly that are like 13% or, or you know, people that are like me and they're trying to do in, uh, dig through information and, and figure out 
things like that, guys. Um, they're contacting me and we're sharing information. We're talking all that kind of stuff. Um, and that helps out as well. So a lot of you guys, you know, you probably, maybe you don't have the availability to do that, right? Like you've got like your sponsor basically. And, and, uh, you might be in the situation where your sponsors like, doesn't even know as much as you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Right. Like I would, I would hate that. I would hate that feeling of, you know, even though you might not even, uh, join my team or whatever in S group, but I'd hate that feeling of like not knowing or thinking like my sponsor doesn't even care about this stuff. Like, why isn't he talking about it or she or whatever kind of thing? Right. So, you know, if you're in that kind of situation where your sponsor is just like not talking about it or, or afraid to talk about it, then, you know, this channel is good for you. You can come in, you know, even though some stuff might not turn out to be true, but we'll see guys, we'll see how it is. Um, you know, the really wacky stuff that I hear out there, I just don't even bother sharing it online. Um, just, I, I just think like, okay, if I, uh, find proof of something or whatever, like, uh, uh, like a lawyer's office has put this out or whatever, like that 150 day thing, guys, uh, we found that from a Ukraine, uh, uh, Ukraine, Russian website, um, that was all about, uh, forensic audits basically. Right. So that's where we got 150 days from. It didn't come from S group. Right. So, um, yeah, so back to this stuff here, guys. So this is, you know, it's important. Like if you want to understand what's going on and stuff, you know, I've, I've put, uh, basically timestamps here in these photos, which you can go to. So this is at 11 minutes guys. Um, is that he said like, they're going to fight for unblocking, right? If this audit, uh, goes on, meaning that I think he's talking about maybe this 150 day thing. Like if things don't get figured out in 150 days, then they're going to, they're going to say like, okay, can you guys please finish this for us? Because the whole point of doing this is to prove this is uh, false information that we're supporting war efforts in Ukraine. Um, and if that comes and this is once again, guys, this is kind of my thoughts on this, that around that 150 day mark, if that is the truth, 150 days, um, that they would push towards this is actually having a portion of the funds or something like that unblocked so that we could access some of our profits in USDT, which we see in our back office there as you as, uh, SWCT, right? So that's something guys, I have never talked about in a video since this webinar. And this is the first time I talked about it because the reason was I was waiting for more information about this, but no, uh, no new information has come out about this. So what I know is what, you know, if you've watched this webinar and you've read this stuff or you're in our, uh, uh, uh updates channel there guys, and you read the text, which I put out the day of the webinar here, um, then you know what I know. So there's no point asking like, Drew, can you tell me more information about this unblocking stuff? Right. So I'm just uh, telling you guys that he uh, he did say that is that, you know, uh, he'll fight for some unblocking of the funds. Right. And I'm just thinking that if the audit, uh, if they do decide to extend it past 150 days, if that 150 day thing is something, um, then that's the next move they'd make, guys, is for uh, uh, to give us something out of this, right? Like an unblocking of the funds where we could go and actually withdraw some of our SWCT to our banks or whatever type thing like that. Who knows guys, maybe it'll work out this way where the, <clears throat> where the brokers like, cause it was the broker's decision to freeze the accounts. So maybe it'll work out this way where he goes and he shares like, Oh, they're 70, 80% through the auditing and they haven't found anything. And the broker will be like, okay, so the odds of them finding something is extremely low. If, if something's 70% done or 80% done or whatever it is at the time. Um, and the broker might decide, okay, let's just, you know, put everything back to normal. You know, they can do deposits, they can do withdrawals. And then who cares about the audit, right? I think going into this, that was Vadim's thoughts was, you know, we need to do this audit to clear this news. And, and this is actually damaging towards the company is, you know, all these, uh, scam bloggers out there saying that S group supports the Ukraine war. And he said in this webinar, guys, he said, he thinks it's a paid effort, like some company out there. Uh, that's probably another company similar to S group, um, is probably paying bloggers to, to make up this information about S group guys. Right. Cause it doesn't make any sense. Like I know S group is half a billion dollar company. Like that's basically what they have in their holdings that they're trading on and stuff like that is half a billion dollars. So he said this as well is, is to even think about like a company that size to be suspicious of supporting a country's war like that, even that doesn't make any sense because that's nothing compared to like what military gets. 
Like if you just simply look, and I hate talking about, uh, <clears throat> almost choked on myself there. I hate talking about politics and stuff. Sorry, I'm losing my voice now. I hate talking about politics, politics and stuff in this video, guys, because I just, I don't really even care about that stuff. I don't really look at what's going on, but the big things I see, right? You have to see. Um, but if, if you look at like, for instance, the US or Canada or any first world country, when you honestly think about it, like countries or people that support war efforts, right? They're giving billions and billions of dollars, okay? And that was one thing that he pointed out was that right there is a clear sign that all this is just BS is because we can't afford to give billions of dollars because we don't have billions of dollars. Like, what are these guys even talking about <laughs> kind of thing? So that was pretty... Uh, I, I kind of got a chuckle out of that when I was reading the translation. I was like, holy shit, like he's really right about that. This is so stupid when you think about it. Um, and guys, they have to clear up stuff like that. Like I know what it's like for people to say, you know, take my name, Drew Burton, Andrew Burton, and then say I'm a scammer, right? I know what that's like. Like your family doesn't know what to think about you. Like my aunts, my uncles, you know, people that are older, they don't really know that much about the internet. You know, I know what it feels like for people that are close to you, like people that are in your family, for them to go and see like a website saying that you're a scammer or that you're a bad person. And they're like, oh my God, like, is this true? Like people kind of believe stuff, guys, because they see it, right? Okay. So personally, guys, I know what it's like. And I understand why Vadim would be like, we have to put a stop to this, right? Like, they're using his company to say that it's supporting war efforts in, in another country. Like that's crazy. Right. So I understand why he's doing this and he wants to get to the bottom of it and all that. And I know that if you've never had experience with someone, you know, saying something bad about you and, you know, it affecting you in a way like, uh, your, uh, not my parents, but like my relatives or something like that might have doubt towards me when they see me in person, stuff like that. Um, because of, you know, something they saw online, right? Like you can go to YouTube, you can go to Google, type in my name and you'll find stuff saying that I'm a scammer or whatever type thing like that. Right. Um, yeah. So I understand what it's like guys and I understand why he's working so hard towards this to clear it up, um, is because it's not good for the company guys. It's really, really damaging to the company. It's damaging to the morale of the members that just join if they don't understand things about scam and, and why people would say something's a scam and, and the honest truth to why people say something's a scam is actually just to get traffic or get eyeballs to look at what they're actually doing. The people that say it's a scam kind of thing, guys. And, and most, most of these people that say something is a scam online, they don't even believe it's a scam. They're just doing it because they get traffic to whatever they're trying to sell or whatever their, you know, their email list or whatever type thing. Right. So, yeah, I totally understand that, um, why he would go and do something like this and just make it like such a big deal, right? Is to have an audit actually about it, right? Like that's, uh, that's pretty nuts. You hardly ever hear about online business opportunities doing audits, right? So, yeah, I think it's good guys to get it out of the way. And I think that, um, you know, get it out of the way to clear that information. If you seriously just watch this video, guys, with these tan uh, blah, time stamps that I've, I've uh, shown you here, then you'll understand a lot more instead of just sitting, uh, sitting there and guessing. So let's do these withdrawals. So that would be 19, 1911. And then we'll grab this. This goes in SWCT there, stack that up. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's all good. So I'll stack that up for when it's time. And then I put, yeah, so guys, my plan is I'm going to put a bunch back into savings. There's what I made yesterday. Um, so I'll put a bunch back into savings, get that all back to normal. I don't know if they decide to write off my car. I don't know if I'll get another one, guys. I, I really don't know. Like if anything, like, you know, you guys know I was making monthly payments on that. And I know how insurance companies think. They're probably going to go look at, and my car was the first C8 car in Canada, right? So it's a super special car. That's why I was like, oh my God, I love this thing. One of the reasons, right? Okay, so let's do a withdrawal here, STD there. Okay, and then we're gonna end the video here. Did I even put the amount in? Yeah. And then we'll end the video here, guys, just because it's been, uh, it's definitely been long enough. I've said enough. 
Um, there is one more thing though of those screenshots, which I got to go over, which might be important news to maybe 2% of the people that are watching these videos. So there's that withdrawal there, guys. I'll show you the, the two withdrawals. I got $30 in SGCT as well, but the minimum withdrawal is 50. So there's those, <clears throat> there's those withdrawals there. Okay. So just over 2000 bucks. That's nice. Uh, and then we'll shoot on, we'll go to careers. We'll just end the video on the careers page. We got to go over that one more screenshot. Uh, there is, where are these ones? This here. So S pharmaceutical talk. Did I spell pharmaceutical right? No, I didn't. I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's at like 12 minutes guys. So 1150 something. So S pharmaceutical and Really with this, he, he talked about the pool one and not really the pool two. But if you do listen to the talk, he talked a lot about this, the token that's in your wallet. Okay. If you're invested in the pool two. So he talked a little bit about that. I'll just show you guys that. So you know what I'm talking about and the people aren't like, what the heck? So these here. Okay. Which right now they have zero value. Okay. And if you watch, if you watch that, oh, this thing was kind of covering up, but these tokens here right? Okay. So if you watch that, he talks a little bit more about it, guys. I don't really understand what he's talking about when he talks about it just because of, well, once the language barrier, um, and the wording that the Google translator is using. Um, uh, and I'm not like, I'm not really up to the crypto. Like I know everything about crypto. I'm not one of those guys. Um, so I don't really understand that much. There is one guy on my team guys that understands a lot about crypto uh, Johnny, I know a lot of you guys know him. Um, so normally when I have a question about crypto, I'll just ask him. And he always has the answer. Even me just talking about S pharmaceutical in these videos, there's probably no sense in doing it. Um, first off is because I don't understand that much about it. Um, because I haven't seen the result from it yet. Cause I wasn't in the pool one. So there's no point in me talking about something that I don't have results from yet. <laughs> right. Is what I'm saying. And also I don't promote it, right? The, the people who joined and did it um, as pharmaceutical that were under me, they're in the exact same situation as me. Like the process they're going through is the exact same process I'm going through, right? My sponsor did the pool number one. So at the start, like I would just ask him questions about it. But as we can obviously see, the pool one and the pool two guys, like uh, the pool two is actually uh, the how it's going to be. Right. The pool one was just, can they do it basically? And it, it worked out. Everyone uh, made money and, and that type of thing. And also here's something else. Um, cause I have had some people say like, Oh, why does it take so long to make money with S pharmaceutical? Like I should have put my money in S four X or whatever type thing like that guys. And here's the thing is in the presentation for S pharmaceutical pool two, I wasn't around when they did the pool one Oh no, I was around when they did the pool one presentation. I just never invested in it, but I remember, yeah, I remember seeing everyone promoting pool one, <laughs> right? That would have been right at the start when I joined. But anyways, back to this is the presentation for pool two. Like when the company introduced us to like, we're going to do a pool two and told us all about it, guys, the projection for actually earning in it, like when you would start to get money in it, guys was 2.5 to three years. Okay. So we're only like one year or one and a half year into this. So, you know, if you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to make money from this like now or whatever, or I would say even in the following like month or so guys, I don't think that's the case. I think they're, you know, they're just in the process of, of putting things together type thing, like, uh, making these coins, uh, getting those coins in people's wallets. Obviously I showed you my wallet. There's no value to it right now. Um, because they haven't done the sales and stuff like that. And I think that that's where the value comes from is the sales. I, to me, it sounds like it's something that you hold and it, the people that hold it, they'll earn more, right? Cause it's like a, like a Bitcoin or something type thing where the price of it will go up. Like for instance, if you, if you buy some new coin and, and it's like, Oh, you like the idea of it. You like the idea of the company. I forgot what it's called guys. Those like launch type things, like an IPO kind of thing in the stock market. Right. Um, if you, if you know, you buy into the idea, basically that's kind of what we've done with S pharmaceuticals. We've bought into the idea. Now they have these tokens for it. We don't know the value of the token yet, but once the value is created for the token, then the people that hold that token, 
right? The value of that token will go up because the, the company's expanding. Like they're doing more sales. They're getting out there. They've got their little um, uh, medical cannabis uh, vending machines and <laughs> all this kind of stuff, right? So I think that's the concept and the idea behind it. And I think, not 100% sure about this, but when he did the, when Vadim did the presentation for it, guys, back in like 2022, I think it was, or the end of 2021 or something like that for pool number two, um, he did say in it that some member asked uh, during the webinar, like, oh, if I invest $15,000, which that's what I invested. And the reason I invested 15,000 was because of what this member asked in Vadim's response. Um, uh, uh, the member said, if I invest $15,000 into this, you know, what would be my projection, you know, the outcome possibly, right? And possibly, I should say, possibly. Uh, and Vadim said, oh, it'd be around $100,000, right? So I don't know if it's the $15,000, the value of the token you're going to get would be $100,000, or if it's his projection was, this is where he thinks the amount of tokens that you have will go to right? Or if he's thinking like, is this something we're going to get every quarterly is these tokens like this, this is it guys. I don't know that much about it. Right. So maybe some, uh, maybe even people watching this video are like, I know more th uh, than you about it, uh, type thing like that. Um, guys, I'm really with S pharmaceutical, like everything. Um, I'm just learning as we go. Like even when I was first involved with S four X guys, like right off the start, uh, I, I think I waited a bit and then I started promoting it once I understood how it worked, but even the, over the first year, right. I like, I was learning as I go kind of thing. And, and I had my sponsor luckily for support and stuff like that, but that's where I am with S farm, uh, S pharmaceutical guys. Like you see me, like I don't promote it. I don't talk about it really that type of thing. And I'm just kind of seeing where it goes. So that's it for me guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, we're over 450,000 in, in earnings through the comp plan bonuses and commissions. That is insane. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in another video. Maybe we'll do a, a quick video tomorrow, just adding up like what I've made um, in the last 24 hours. I haven't done that in a long time. What I've noticed is every day is over a thousand dollars now. So um, I don't know. You just kind of expect it to be <laughs> to be at that. But uh, maybe we'll do it uh, tomorrow. We'll just do a quick video for you guys. Okay, so that's it. See ya. Bye bye. Lots of uh, editing to do now.